Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no fucking way. Dude. That's fucking crazy. Oh my god, dude. Is this article really fucking true? Or is this a fucking prank? That's what I want to know. Dude. Damn, that's crazy. Dude, this shit hit me not that long ago. Straight up. Straight up. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm putting my headset on, so give me a minute. So, yeah. Fucking A, dude. I, I, dude, I'm still in shock about this right now. <laughs> I'm still in shock about this because this is like un- some unreal shit here. Like, straight up, this is. Fucking take off, which I don't know if anybody really knows. If you know, you know. Um, Migos is a giant group. Like, you know, Wu Tang Clan. Um, like all those type of groups, you know. Um, obviously they're different because, you know, um, Wu Tang Clan was in the 90s and, you know, uh, Migos was in, like, you know, present day. But yeah, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to compare the two or whatnot. But, um, if you guys know Migos, you know, take off. And, uh, I've listened to some of their music on and off, on and off, you know, um, throughout the years, but fucking A, dude. Take off dead at 28. Shot in Houston. And this was put up literally on the first. The day after Halloween. And I had a great Halloween. Not gonna lie, I had a great Halloween. I did. And then fucking I see this shit popping up on my phone and I'm like, oh fuck, you know. That that caught me off guard. But yeah, fucking RP RP uh, take off, you know. Fucking I think the Migos are not gonna be uh I don't think the Migos are gonna be a, a thing anymore. Um because, you know, they lost they lost their soul of it. And Takeoff was the soul of it. And people can debate it all day, all day, all they want. But, um, to me, Takeoff was, like, the soul fucking person that held everything together. Like, he was the, he was the super glue that held the whole group together. But now that he's dead, um, yeah. Offset's, Offset pretty much, uh, dipped out. He's not doing, he's not doing, uh, anything related to Migos anymore. Um, and so that just leaves Quavo now. So Quavo is probably gonna go on his own and do his own thing. Um, but yeah, this is crazy though. So yeah, the Migos group is officially over with. I mean, yeah, cause what, what are you gonna do now that takeoff is, is gone? Like, he's literally not here anymore. Like, this is crazy though. But, yeah, fucking A, dude. (sighs) This is crazy, though. This is why I tell people every single day, don't sign to these fucking record labels. This shit happens to artists that sign that are this young. He was 28 years old. Literally fucking seven years older than me, and he died. Fucking A, dude. Y'all better fucking listen up, you know. Like, cause the, the more people that sign to these record labels, the more they're gonna die, you know. Like, and, and it's been proven, you know. Fucking Takeoff was only 28 years old when he died, you know. And if I signed to a record label, you know, two years ago, I probably would be dead by now. I'm being, I'm being real, you know. Like that's what they do. The fucking industry is evil. The industry is corrupt. They fucking sacrifice artists. In order for them to gain more power. That's what they do. And whoever killed Takeoff is probably going to get a fucking raise. And they're probably going to get even bigger than who than what they were. Or whatever, you know. Um, that's crazy, though. That's crazy, though. Um, but that's how the, that's how this fucked up system works, you know. Um, you do some fucked up shit. Um, you know, you, you, you do a ritual. You kill a rapper. You know, that, and, the, and, the, and then you level up. That's kind of how this whole elitist system works, you know, um, but yeah, that's crazy though, take off dead at 28, dude, that's crazy, I'm still in shock about it, you know, I'm still in shock about it, <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely RP Migos, because like I said, the whole group is not going to get back together, I don't think, um, and if they do, it's not going to, it's not going to sound as it did before, um, when uh, Takeoff was still alive, because like I said, Takeoff was basically the glue that held ev- the whole group together. So now, it- it- it's crazy though. 
now fucking Takeoff is gone, fucking, yeah, they're gonna keep taking out these rappers, you know, they're gonna keep doing this, like, this is not gonna stop, they're gonna keep doing these rituals, and they're still gonna keep on sacrificing these different artists, you know, um, like, they sacrificed, you know, DMX, fucking, Mac Miller, fucking, XX Tashian, fucking, I could go on, the list goes on, you know, fucking Juice World, for example, you know, fucking, why, why do y'all think fucking Juice World's label is putting, is still putting out music? They're still trying to get money, and they're still trying to milk money off of Juice World's name. And I wouldn't be surprised that uh, they're going to do the same thing with Takeoff. They're going to leak a bunch of songs that either he didn't complete or was close to completing, and then try to get more money off his death. Because, you know, the death of a rapper equals more money in their pockets, you know. That's how that's how they look at it, you know. The more rappers that die, the more cha-ching they get. Fucking... I've been saying this shit for years, and yet people think I'm a fucking crazy person just for stating the fucking obvious, but I'm not a crazy person. I'm actually way more aware of what's going on than most people are, um, a majority of the people, and it's sad to see. It's sad to see, you know, um, but yeah, fucking, they sacrifice, take off. I don't believe their fucking story of, oh, he's in a fucking bowling alley and he fucking got shot, you know, fucking, that might have been what they told you. But that's not exactly what went down. The, the, what actually went down, they're not even going to tell you. They're going to leave that part out. So, yeah. <laughs> fucking, that's what they do, though. That's what they do, though. They fucking make up these bullshit-ass fucking stories of how this person died, even though they died, a, uh, you know. Um, who knows? Takeoff could have probably, pro- Takeoff probably died before this fucking date. Who knows? Um, we don't really know at this point, because literally... The media lies all the time. It, they do. They do. Um, but yeah. Even though Takeoff is dead, you know, they still lie about how he died and, you know, all this and that, you know. They don't they don't tell you all that. They leave that shit out. That's why they came out with the fucking story saying, oh, he fucking got shot in a fucking uh, uh, bowling alley in Houston. It's like, dude, get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, I'm not buying that fucking bullshit bullshit ass story and who and whoever does is fucking fooling themselves you know fucking takeoff was a sacrifice he was a sacrifice you know and the industry does sacrifice off their artists and if you don't think they sacrifice off their artists then uh yeah you must you must you must not have the same fucking uh mindset that i do um because I, I I can see through this bullshit you know i can see the i can see through the bullshit of what they're trying to push and everything so yeah I wouldn't be surprised, fucking, dude, they're probably, probably about a month after this now, they're gonna, they're probably gonna, you know, release a fucking posthumous album for Takeoff, and, uh, yeah, and then they're gonna get even more money from it, making them even more fucking rich, you know, and you wanna know how I know that? Because they're doing the same exact thing to Juice World when he died, that's why Juice World, uh, uh, Juice World's label is still putting out music and music videos, that way they can generate and garnish more money Cause that's all they fucking care about. They don't care about you know the well-being of these rappers. They get they could all die off. Say okay, let me let me let me let me let me say this. All the rappers could die off right now, and they wouldn't even care. They would still put out all their posthumous albums and then still get rich off of it. Cause people would still fucking listen to it and people would still buy it and everything. And that's that's kind of how their marketing is. They they take these artists as super young. They fucking groom them, you know, they put, they, you know, they give them chains, they give them money, you know, and all this other shit, you know, to kind of lure them in, you know, and then once they don't serve a purpose for that label anymore, then they fucking take action and they kill you off. That's what they do. And so, yeah, that's basically what they do to these fucking artists. And that's what they did to take off, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they did, they did that to take off. Just know that, just know that they, they, they saw take off. Um, they saw his potential, and, uh, they, they stopped it, you know, that's what they did, fucking, yeah, they groomed him, and then they saw his potential, and then they were like, okay, we gotta get rid of him, so, yeah, they hired a fucking hitman, and, uh, that's, and that's how, and that's how this happened, you know, they ha- they, ha- they hire hitman to literally kill off these artists, and then the hitman gets paid big bucks for doing it, so, yeah, probably gets paid beforehand, but that's most that's how most of these fucking artists die. And that's another reason why I'm never gonna fucking sign to a record label, you know. Um and I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna leave this video off very, very clear and very simple. 
do not sign to a record label. If you want to make music, do it on your own. You don't need the money. You don't need the chains. You don't need all this other bullshit, you know? Fucking make it on your own. Like, do your own fucking work and make make yourself into something. Without fucking, you know, the help of these fucking labels, you know, to try to fucking get you to where you need to be. You can make it, you can make it on your own. That's what they don't want to fucking tell you. Like, they don't want to tell you that because then, if they tell you that, then, you know, they're losing money because, you know, they're not getting people to sign. And that's what they want, you know. They want all these new artists to be inside, to be signed and fucking groomed and to, you know, doing this and that. And that's what they did to take off, unfortunately. And that's why they killed them off, you know, because they did a sacrifice to them. Now the next big artist is going to pop up out of nowhere. That's usually what happens. So yeah, probably within probably within the next year or so, there pro- there's probably going to be another uh, uh, big artist. You know, there's probably going to be another big artist that just came out of nowhere, and uh, that's what they do. That's what they do. They have levels to this shit. You know, um, they kill off a rapper, and then they and then they take another uh, another young rapper, and then they push him up to the very top. That's what they do. That's what they do. You know. But yeah, fucking yeah, RP takeoff, fucking. It's crazy though. I'm still in shock about it, but anyway, um, I didn't expect doing a video on this today, but I decided why not, you know, um, I'm still in shock about it, dude, but yeah, that's what they do though. They fucking sacrifice off these artists. That's why I don't really have that much emotional attachment to these bigger artists, you know, um, cause it's not going to affect me too much, you know, but it does piss me off that these record labels are intentionally doing these doing this to different artists and then coming out with a bullshit ass fucking ad or or you know uh a bullshit ass fucking story about it even though it didn't go down exactly that way it went down a completely different other way that they don't even want to fucking tell you about you know um that's what pissing me off right there is the fact that they're lying about how he died like if they if they if they if they had any fucking morals they would have at least fucking said, you know, okay, Takeoff died by this, he really died off, you know, by this, you know, um, we didn't want him on our label because, you know, he was getting too popular, and we wanted to kill him off, so that way we can get this other artist to, you know, be pushed to the very top, because that's what they like to do, that's how, that's how they get promoted in Hollywood, you know, fucking sue me, I don't give a fuck, dude, fucking, yeah, that's what happens in Hollywood, I'm, I'm just breaking it down, even though I'm not in fucking Hollywood, I know exactly how they fucking work, you know, I do, fucking, I, I, I've done my research on it, and that's what they do, fucking, but yeah, RP take off though, fucking, sad way he had to go, but, hey, you know, it is what it is, um, I might do a reaction video today, just to, just to, uh, you know, for his memory, I'm thinking about it, um, possibly do a reaction video to his last song that he put out, which I'm gonna find his last song that he put out, cause that's gonna be his last final fucking song. So, all these posthumous albums that come out and all this other shit, I don't really pay attention to that, because that is music that either the artist was working on at the time, that didn't get a chance to fucking uh, uh, complete it and everything, because they're releasing, they're re-releasing that to get more money to fill the fucking pockets of these fucking record labels that end up killing off these fucking artists because they don't give two shits about them. They care about the money. If it wasn't about the money, then you know, they wouldn't have these artists, but they need money, because they need to make money, and how do you make money, you know, sign artists, you know, and that, and then the artists, you know, generate that revenue for them, and then, yeah, and then, and then they give them more revenue after they're dead, have you, have you all noticed that, fucking, I'm not the only crazy one out there, there's probably a couple people out there that fucking agree with me with this, but, yeah, just don't sign to a record label. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Unless you want to die and, you know, want to make these record labels even richer, then go ahead. Then go ahead. Fucking, I done warned y'all. I've done been warned y'all. If you if you want to sign to a record label, that's on you. At least I fucking warned you. At least I laid out all the fucking risks of doing that, you know. And plus, on top of that, each artist that is signed to these labels... They do not get all their mo- all the money that they generate from it. They get about like a, a certain percentage, like either one percent or two percent, and that's it. 
label against the fucking 90, 99% and the 98%, and they keep it for themselves. That way they can keep getting richer and richer and richer, you know? So, however, however much money one artist makes per show, they only get, like, a certain percentage out of it, which is, like, you know, 1%, 2%, probably, probably all the way up to 5%, and that's it. The other 95% goes to these labels. That's what they do. I'm being, I'm being 100% honest with this shit, you know? Like, <laughs> if you don't believe me, I don't fucking warn you. So, yeah. I, I hope, I hope people will actually start taking me seriously when I say do not sign to a fucking record label because I am saying that not, not for clicks or views or anything. I'm saying that to let y'all know what's really going on. Because, like I said, everything is being lied to. Like, every, everything, everything that you read is basically filled and riddled with lies. So, yeah. Takeoff might have died. Um, but the way he died... Um, it's still a mystery. It's still a mystery, you know. Um, they they could they could push all this all, all all the all the headlines they want. Say, oh, he died from a fucking uh, uh, at a at a bowling alley. It's like, dude, they they weren't even there to be honest. Does not does not seem does not seem fucking weird that they would put out a fucking report on a, on an artist that just died, even though they weren't even fucking there. Like, dude, you can already tell they're lying by by the way they're pushing that story out. I'm just I'm just speaking on the real, you know, and that's another reason why I'm not signed to a record label because I'm not gonna get killed off by these fucking giant CEOs that want to fucking kill off their artists and shit and want to do these fucking evil ass fucking demonic sacrifices and shit because that's what they do. That's what they do. You know, fucking. I'm not gonna be a part of that shit. I never will be. You can put that on my fucking tombstone when I go. <laughs> anyway, that's all I gotta say. Um. Yeah, definitely RP takeoff. Fucking yeah, I'm gonna be having a react. I'm gonna be having a reaction video coming out after this video. So yeah. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, there's not much I can. There's not much else I can really say about it. Like I said, I'm still in shock about this. But yeah, damn. Fucking takeoff dead at 28. That's crazy though. That's crazy though. These 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 this industry needs to quit sacrificing these artists in order to push their new shitty fucking artists out. They need to fucking stop doing it. And somebody needs to put a stop to it. Somebody does. And I'm not saying it's me. But somebody needs to put a stop to this fucking industry. Make them quit sacrificing these artists for their own fucking pockets and shit. Simple. Simple. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm outie. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done reading this article. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. This motherfucker's in crazy sign out and RP takeoff. And yeah, that's all I got to say. <laughs>